I've got several more of these long lane straths. They're a different kind of style than a normal lane, long lane straw hive. Uh, the frames go, they go in this orientation. Frame, frame, and then there's stacks of them going back. Let's open one of these up so you can see what I'm talking about here. See this? See how those those frames go like this? So when I work the hive, I, I have this little ledge here. I can set a pull a frame out and set it on the side to give me space to work. I work from this angle right here. I can access all the all the frames very easily from this position. See, you just pull them straight up and, uh, and, and you can get to any frame real, real easy. There's no twisting of my body. Both of my hands are the same distance away from my body so I can balance the weight easy. It works really well. It's much better, in my opinion, to work hives from this angle than working them like this from this angle where you have to reach way out reach way on that other side to pull a frame up from this orientation both my hands it's the same distance you pull a frame up it's much easier you can slide them with your hive tool it's much faster and with these screen uh, inner covers it's nice too you can see what's going on in here you can um, smoke them through this screen. They build a little bit of propolis on top, but who cares? It, um, it doesn't make the, the uh, roof stick down or anything because it sticks to this screen. This is pet screen. It's, a, it's thicker stuff than your just regular window screen, but it works fantastic. And eventually they'll propolize it all. Uh, and if you're concerned about it, you can freeze it and it'll make the uh, propolis come off but um, I just leave it on because I like propolis in my hives that's just fine and I like the the functionality of this uh, screen inner cover so this is what a collateral hive looks like see the bees they enter through this end right there This is the brood box, and then we have another box here that is the honey box. And in between them, we have a slot where we slide a queen excluder, and the bees can go right through it. And they travel down a frame like this, all the way down into this other box, very easily. Uh, much faster, it seems, them, than them spreading this direction out it, it's interesting how the bees take to these boxes but that's a collateral hive um, it will hold 26 frames in total it's very simple to make it's just a long hive sized around a langstroth deep frame with a, a two inch insulated uh, lid painted some coroplast on the exterior all these sides as well have insulation in them um, it's the this size this these dimensions it's basically a langstroth square hive each side so one of those squares for the brood and one for the honey as you can see, there's a frame rest all the way around. I have a frame rest. See? All the way around. It's the same dimensions this way as it is this way. So you can actually run these frames this way if you like. And at certain times, it's uh, kind of an advantage to do that. Like if you wanted to put a feeder, an in-frame feeder, and this side, there, you know, like you first install a nuke, or something you could give them frames here in this orientation 
and put your feeder the other way, this way, and nothing else, not, nothing else in that box. Leave the rest of it empty. Have that feeder. Once they fill this side up, well, then you can put some frames over there and let them travel into, into that honey box. But um, depending on your needs and the situation, it's pretty flexible. You can also, because this lid is in two parts, you, you can also super this with just a regular 10 frame box. Again, this is a square 10 frame, I mean a square Langstroth. So if you put a regular box going this way across, it fits just perfectly from here to here, a Langstroth frame. And so your box sits flush, nice, like it was made for it because it's the same dimensions. Now you will have a little gap here, but if you notice on my front piece of lid, like you can see on this one, it's a little bit longer. The front piece is a little bit longer. The reason I did that is to take up that gap. So if you super this with a 10 frame box here, the lid will slide over and cover that gap. So you won't have any problems, no, no infiltration and you won't need any little scraps of any lids so anyway that's what these hives look like no bearding on any of these uh, there's another one right over there no bearding no bearding here um, I've got this little Langstroth this is a different kind of design but in the same orientation there's no bearding there either. And those, these boxes are full. As you can see in here, this outside frame doesn't have much on it. But you get in one or two frames, and it's solid. See? All the way. And then one or two frames. So that's, that's a good uh, nine or ten frames right there of a brood nest that's just rocking and rolling and they have a whole bunch in this side as well so something different something to think about i like flexible hive designs i like these because i work from a single height to work them they're really nice on your back it's so nice and easy to work these Especially if you have a little shelves like these little shelves I have on my stands here. You pull a frame out, you set it on that shelf, you just lean it against the side of the hive. You have plenty of room, you work, do what you need to do, put everything back together. You don't need any other extra equipment. You're not moving boxes all around, you not have to lift boxes. Even these five frames, when they're full of honey, they're heavy. And you got to find a spot for them, you know, moving them around. With these hives, everything's there. It's nice and easy. I also have entrances on the backs of these. They're on the vent. Um, you can see the vent setting. But I have them there just in case uh, one day I want to make a queen in another side. Or, you know, say your, your hive swarms, you can move some of the frames with swarm cells over to one side and then in this divider you just put a piece of coroplast or luon or whatever you want slide it right down and you have two colonies in the same box these guys entrance from this side these guys entrance from this side uh, pretty simple to do again very flexible design very easy to put together it's basically made out of uh, scrap coroplast on the outside and insulation that's uh, two inch insulation on all these and you paint it it works fine and the screen inner cover keeps the bees from chewing it up they can't access it see they they only can uh, touch wood and then the screen you can see uh, how I did the coroplast around the outside just a little extra barrier for the uh, insulation. Uh, there's insulation on the just inside this coroplast, and then we paint that coroplast. So 
So that's that's the bee yard today. Some bees are hot and some bees have a little bit different design that seems to be working out a little bit better. Not nearly as much bearding, a lot more space, a lot easier on the beekeeper. That's a win-win-win in my opinion. You guys have a great day.